Hi everyone, Dr. Keith Brandt here, and today I want to talk a little bit about ergonomics in your workplace. Uh, I very, very often get questions about what does it look like, what should I be sitting like, uh, what should my desk setup look like. And uh, again, it, this is one of the things that, please feel free, grab a picture of your office space, email it to me, bring in the picture, uh, we'll make some arrangements, uh, we'll check it, we'll have you test out that desk, and uh, we'll make some re-modifications of it again. But let's take a look. As everyone in the office is laughing at my drawing, I think it came out pretty darn good. And so let's talk about some basics of what your computer desk should look like. And so one thing is we always want to have the, the monitor at eye level right here. So if the monitor is low, uh, you can place something underneath the monitor to bring up the monitor so it's more eye level, or you can always lower your chair. Um, it takes some fine tuning and some, balan um, some balancing, a little balancing act here because what we want to do is we want to have our elbows supported in one way, shape, or form. There's two ways you can support your elbows. Number one, you can scoot in so your elbows are on top of the desk so they're supported. What happens when your arms, your elbows are unsupported, you always have to keep your shoulders elevated and very commonly this is when people tell me they come in and there's just that chronic tension here. It's because their, sh their uh, shoulders are always up by their ears. So when you can take the stress and tension off of the elbows, uh, it allows the shoulders to come down and they relax. So one of two things. One, you can bring the scoot in so the elbows are on top of the desk. The other thing is if you have an armrest on your chair that can come up and support your elbows, it's going to allow the stress and strain to come off your shoulders. Uh, next, we want 90 degrees, 90 degrees right here. Uh, that's super helpful uh, because it's not going to place undue stress on, on your shoulders, your neck, your shoulders, your elbow. And uh, we want that head in a neutral, neutral position looking forward. You can always place a lumbar support here if you so wish. Um, there is little pads you can put there or even roll up a towel. It's going to help maintain that low back lordosis right there, which is what we want. Uh, so also from a keyboard perspective, uh, they, they have, there's a lot of keyboards that are more ergonomically correct. The old school ones where your hands are like this, put a great deal of stress and strain on your wrists and also forces your shoulders and your arms into a very unnatural, awkward position. So definitely get one of the ones where the keyboard is spread out or it's almost like in a somewhat V shape. Uh, it allows you to be in a more ergonomically normal position. Uh, what else? So a little recap. Screen should be at eye level. Shoulders, elbows, wrists all at 90 degrees. Uh, you can place a low back support in here. And also, most importantly, get the stress and strain off your elbows with either uh, support for your elbows, uh, the, the, uh, the armrest on the chair, or if you can bring your chair in close enough, elbows can be supported on top of the desk. Again, if there's any questions, always grab a picture of your workplace or have someone take a picture of you sitting at your desk. And that's a great opportunity where you can send it to us, bring it in, and we'll make some modifications. You go back to your office, you can test it and try to reproduce it. And we can do it again until you get it just right for you. Again, Dr. Keith Branty, thank you for watching this segment on ergonomics in your workplace.